Hello, Malik Carrington here, Family Budget Fisherman. Thank you for tuning in to this, another special episode in this video series and in on this channel. Uh, as you know, I've mentioned this is the last video that we're doing in this garage uh, for the channel as we're getting ready to move into um, our new home. As a matter of fact, by the time you watch this, you probably will have already gotten a good portion of items from this garage or from this house into the new house that we have just purchased, my wife and I. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy this video uh, with a cup of your favorite beverage, preferably non-alcoholic. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Welcome back. So just like I mentioned, if you've read in the description and in the uh, thumbnail, I am going to be talking to you about uh, the comparing and contrast from basically from a, an active fisherman's point of view about the three top of the line rods for Shimano. As you know, Shimano has two major lines of rods, the G Loomis and the Shimano. And at the top of the line for each one of those lines of rods, those series of rods, is a combo rod. So the G Loomis combo rod, the top of the line, I know a lot of you are really having a, good, a lot of good times with that NRX, but the top of the line is actually the um, Shimano G Loomis Conquest. That is the top of the line for that particular rod. And the top of the line for Shimano rods is called the Shimano Jackal Poison. That's the entire title. Uh, Poison Adrena, rather. The Shimano Jackal Poison Adrena. And so I have the top of the line for the Shimano rods. And what I would like to do is something that I have been scouring the internet uh, and I have not seen this kind of a contrast and comparison. And my hope is that I get a chance to help you out in deciding which among the one, two, or three rods, if you were to get these rods, which ones would you get? Okay. So let's start off with the least expensive of these expensive lines of uh, rods is the Shimano Zodius spinning rod. And the Shimano Zodius is this model here is happens to be a seven foot uh, medium heavy action rod. The line capacity on this rod is six to 12 pounds. And the uh, the weight of the lures that it recommends I use is between one quarter ounce and three quarters of an ounce. I have paired it with a 4000 Shimano Vanford spinning reel. They only come in the spinning model I, they may someday come in the bait cast model but for now they only come in the in the spinning model and this is the 4000 size and i have the fins fishing braided line if you know anything about me in this channel i use fins fishing um let's see if i can pop it open right there fins fishing and i believe this is the six uh this is the uh 645 i have 215 and 645 so I have that line on here uh, and <clears throat> there is no leader on here. Normally I would have a leader, but I've been using this rod for power finesse uh, quite recently. So I took the leader off. Now, the very next one is the one rod that I most recently reviewed. And if you'd like to see a more expansive review of this rod, uh, just check out the most recent video and you'll be able to see it. This is the Shimano X-Pride B. This is the one with the updated monocoque handle. As you can see here, the Zodius has a monocoque handle and it was an upgrade from its previous iteration. And then um, <clears throat> it's got a few other aesthetic changes that I mentioned in my review, my unboxing. So go back and check out the unboxing for that. So, and like 
the Zodius. This is a medium heavy rod, seven foot. I think it's a seven two as a matter of fact. Yes, this is a seven foot two medium heavy. And it's, um, the line cap on here is the same, I believe, at six. Um, this is the, the line cap on here is oh yeah well it says lure oh the lure here is one quarter the three quarter the line is six to twelve yeah line is six to twelve pounds rated and so this really really good rod um is the second among the three most expensive shimano rods here is the top of the line in terms of price is the Shimano Jackal Poison Adrena. As you can see, uh, the Zodius is outfitted with a Vanford, Shimano Vanford 3000 reel with the same braided line on here and no leader on this one as well. And then, uh, of course, this one here is the Shimano Poison Adrena. It actually does have a leader, fluorocarbon leader on here, and it has the monocoque handle as a matter of fact this monocoque handle um, and, and if i'm saying it wrong just correct me but i think it's monocoque handle and it is it it has uh, been a part of this rod before the other two models there uh, this is a 611 medium heavy uh, there is a seven foot model out i just don't have that model uh, as of yet because i got three of these and two of them um, it's still in plastic, so I don't know if I'll ever get the, the seven footer. Uh, that's a lot of money for one extra, uh, one extra inch. And this is a, uh, the same as the other six, six pound test, the 12 pound test, one quarter to three quarter ounce, uh, lure rating. So the all three rods the beauty of all three rods is the level of sensitivity of the rods okay it, you know nothing can be said for that they're all three of these rods are very 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 if i can hold them correctly they're very sensitive rods okay and i don't know why one is there we go very sensitive rods very sensitive rods here and they all three all three rods are worth the investments made in them, whether you get them at a great discount or a minor discount, certainly even at full price, they're just, they're, they're very, very well worth it. They earn their living as it were. But now there are some differences. <clears throat> so for example, um, if you want to have among the three, and because each one of them have their strengths and all of them have their weaknesses. If you want, for example, to uh, fish mostly finesse, the Shimano Zodius, in my view, does a better job. After having fished with these rods, as long as I have, I can now see the different, what I'd like to call nuances in the technique for each of these rods. I know what has been said about them, and I know even in some of my previous reviews how I felt about the different things that they could do. But at, over time, I've realized now that I have all three, I understand these nuances a little bit better. And I can tell you that the, uh, the, po the, the Shimano Zodius handles finesse baits better than the Shimano X-Pride B and the Shimano Jackal Poison Adrena. And here's, I mean, just pick your finesse type bait, whether it's a tube, whether it's a Nico rig, a Ned rig, um, <clears throat> wacky rig, both weighted and weightless, uh, whether it's a Kytec, both reaction and drop shot, drop shots in general, just all of your finesse baits. If you just put them all together and said, I'm going to pick up a finesse bait rod right here. This I think is premier to the other two as its strength, okay? Uh, the weaknesses of this particular rod 
are reaction baits by comparison to its finesse not overall this rod is superior than a lot of other rods when it comes to reaction baits however within the category of these three rods and its own strength this rod this shimano zodius rod is stronger with finesse than it is for reaction uh, or power finesse or power fishing in general okay now can you do if you pick this rod could you do everything with it yes you can can you throw a square bill yes can you throw a medium diver yes can you throw a medium deep diver meaning down to say 12 feet yes you could i don't know how much deeper than that you could throw but i know down to 12 feet can you throw a spy bait yes can you throw a jerk bait with excellence so you could throw those rods i mean throw those baits uh, chatter baits, spinner baits, uh, lipless crank baits. You could do that, but you will find once you get a chance to fish with all three of the top of the line for Shimano, you'll find that the Shimano Zodius does a better job with finesse baits than do its others in the line. The Shimano X Pride. Now, you have all seen me, uh, number one. If you've watched the review, you've heard me say, I believe this rod has a spirit in it. It wants to be a reaction bait, a power uh, bait rod. And it is, in every single case, it excelled in ways, excuse me, in ways, that was almost a yawn, in ways that I was thoroughly impressed. And remember, I said in, in my, op my unboxing, I hesitated for a long time in getting this. I almost did not get this rod. I put it into my cart several times over the previous months. I just didn't think I needed the rod or that it was something that I needed to talk about on this channel. But then I started getting a lot of responses related to that. And I said, well, I'll go ahead on and take a chance. And I did. And I'm glad I did. Um, the weaknesses in this rod, finesse baits. Uh, by comparison, this rod does much better in finesse baits than many, many other rods in other, in other, uh, companies. I'm just going to tell you now, but by comparison to its ability to perform by throwing, uh, reaction baits and power baits, this rod is strongest with reaction baits. It is weaker when it comes to uh, finesse baits by comparison. If you only had the uh, money and desire to buy this rod, could you do well with all of the categories? Yes, you could, and you would not be disappointed, but you will notice the differences the moment you get any one of the other rods. Just saying, okay? Now, the Shimano Jackal Poison Adrena. This is the top of the line for Shimano's line of rods, as I've said moments ago. What does this rod excel in? This rod excels in being the best all around rod of all the rods. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this as well. I personally believe that the Shimano Jackal, the Shimano Jackal, Poison Adrena is the best all-around rod made in the markets. I do not think that there is a better rod made. If you just got just one universal rod, I think this is the best one. And you all know I got a lot of rods. Got a lot of rods. There are rods that excel over this in certain capacities. But if I am to pick, go out with just one rod and one reel, it's going to be with this because number one, it's in my arsenal, but number two, because I can do techniques, universal techniques. I can, I can even throw to a limited extent. I could throw frogs with this rod. And when I say limited, it's a medium heavy. So I could throw frogs with this, but, um, I, I don't, the, the, the stiffness of the rod, it's not stiff enough for some rods, but it can handle the rods, uh, the, the, uh, from, it's not stiff enough for some frogs 
or frogging as a technique, but it can handle a lot of the frogs. But that's an area I think that the X Pride would do better in just saying. But all around, I think this is the best rod, particularly among its other uh, others in its in its own class, uh, the X Pride and the Zodius. But just generally speaking, this is one of the best rods for a universal rod that I've ever thrown. And I've thrown a lot of rods and I have a lot of rods. So if you could see just to my left here, there are probably oh, 50, 60 rods this way. And then you see these few over here. This is it right here. Now, and it throws, it throws reaction baits well, it throws finesse baits well. Now, in each of their categories, this one throws, uh, the X-Pry throws better for reaction baits, the Zodius throws better for, uh, for finesse baits. However, if there's just one rod, this rod will do the best for overall. Now, here's if I were to do this original purchase and I wanted any combination of these rods, if I'm just going to make a purchase for a rod, I would purchase this rod here, just one rod. However, if I am looking to build my arsenal and I wanted to have some specialties, so I would always start off, me personally, I start off with finesse because finesse baits, you don't put fish in the boat. And, and we thank God for reaction baits, but finesse baits put fish in boats. They don't always put the biggest baits in, the biggest bass in there in the boat or biggest fish in the boat, but they always put fish in the boat and, uh, or fish on, if you're fishing from the bank, they always land fish. So I would start off with the Shimano Zodius. Now I would augment my arsenal with the X Pride B before going with the Adrena. And here's why. With finesse baits, I'll be fine. And I just want to cover myself on getting a better reaction bait rod. That said, if I am going to <clears throat> pick two rods, I would either pick the Zodius and the x Prod, or I would pick the Zodius and the Adrena. And the reason again is because your, your best opportunities to catch fish are always going to be finesse. Always. Because there are just going to be times when reaction baits just don't do it. And you need to let a bait soak for a while. So here you have it. Now, when I think of power finesse, um, there's a little bit of a stretch there because you could take a bass jig. A bass jig can be fished as a finesse style bait or power bait. It just depends on how you deal with it. Uh, it could be fished as a reaction bait or finesse bait. It just depends on how you deal with it. So um, again, my preference would be go going to the Zodius. So if you wanted to just get the Adrena, I would say get the Zodius and the Adrena and you're fine. You don't need the X Pride. You just don't. If you were to get the Zodi, I mean the Adrena and the X Pride, you, you really don't need the Zodius. And here's the reason. Because although the Zodius is better at finesse baits than the Adrena and the X Pride, than the X Pride, what you have, however, between the Adrena and the X-Pride is enough to accomplish what you need to accomplish if you had a Zodius rod. You're not going to get the best, but you get it well enough where these cover the bases. And I would say the same thing if you were to go with the Zodius and the X-Pride. You don't need the Adrena because for the same reasons, the Adrena, the, um, what you get out of the Zodius and the X Pride, it, it doesn't make sense to spend that extra money on the Adrena. Okay. And, and so, uh, 
you have those options to consider. Each one of the rods is a fantastic rod. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but I chose to do this because I scoured the internet and I could not find any person who I could relate to with this kind of review. And I'm hoping that this review is helpful to you if you're making a choice to make a purchase of any one, two, or three of these rods. I'm saying to you, you need to have a high-end rod. And I'm going to tell you, oh, the overall, of course, the best is the Poison Adrena. Uh, and I would pick that over the NRX, by the way. Just letting you know, I would pick that over the NRX. Uh, maybe not the Conquest, because Conquest is, is really, really top of the line. Uh, but definitely uh, over the NRX, I'd pick the uh, Adrena. Now, uh, but any two of these would accomplish what your needs are. As a serious fisherman, remember these, these rods are for serious fishermen. These are very expensive rods uh, and reels, and you don't want to just start your fishing career with sticker shock. Get you something less expensive and then work your way up by technique, style, and preference. But as far as uh, what I've presented here to you, there are so many of you who are wondering, what if I have the money to make a choice between one, two, or three of these rods, what do I do? And I hope that this information has been presented well enough for you to make that decision. So... Without further ado, no matter what you do, um, please, please, please do not break your family's budget trying to purchase any one, two, or three of these rods and rod reel combos or anything else that I presented on this channel. But by every legal and ethical means, get out there and break your personal best. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great time on the water. Blessings to you.